peptides are all the rage right now. They're said to have miraculous benefits on anti-aging, recovery, and healing. The most popular and known peptide is BPC-157 that's supposed to heal the joints. During the summer, I had a minor tendonitis in my left elbow because of not warming up properly to do muscle-ups. After that, I wasn't able to do any more than 10 pull-ups without pain because my elbow was recovering. Last year for my 29th birthday, I did 29 pull-ups for celebration. This year for my 30th birthday, I wanted to do 30 pull-ups, but I wasn't able to do that because of my elbow pain. That's why I started taking BPC-157 to accelerate the healing process. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my results after taking BPC-157 for two months. And I'm also going to share with you the research about BPC-157. So what is BPC-157 and is it safe? BPC-157 is a 15 amino acid fragment. BPC-157 is not found in nature and it's derived from another protein called body protection compound in the stomach. Studies have shown that BPC-157 has promising effects on healing various tissues, such as the tendons, ligaments, muscles, and even bones. When it comes to the mechanisms of effect, then BPC-157 supports nitric oxide and thus blood flow. It upregulates growth hormone, which promotes recovery, and it also increases collagen synthesis, which is why it's good for the joints. As a disclaimer, all the studies done on BPC-157 are done on mice and in vitro. So currently, there are no published human clinical trials to confirm these benefits in humans. However, there are hundreds and thousands of people anecdotally sharing their experience with BPC-157 online, saying that it helps with recovery from injuries. You might have heard that you need to inject BPC-157. That's indeed one of the most common routes of administration. However, there have been other methods that have been shown to result in positive healing outcomes, such as orally via a tablet, orally via distilled water, via a dermal patch, and via a cream. So you can take BPC in different ways, and it doesn't have to involve injections. But is it legal? In 2023, the US FDA banned compounding pharmacies from selling certain peptides, including BPC-157. Fortunately, you can still get BPC-157 as an oral pill or tincture, which weren't banned. BPC-157 is one of the few peptides that can be taken orally because it survives the acidic environment of the stomach. So I used a company called Bioprime supplements that has liquid stable BPC. It's third party tested to contain over 98% pure BPC 157 and is stored in a biothonic violet glass bottle that protects the compound against light. Like I said, there are currently no clinical trials on BPC 157, so we don't know what's the optimal dose and what's the optimal dosing frequency. Based on the animal studies, some recommend a dose of 200 micrograms per person per day or 3.33 micrograms per kilogram per day. For me, that would be 260 micrograms per day, or 0.26 milligrams per day. Coincidentally, that's exactly what one serving of Bioprime's oral BPC-157 has. One bottle contains 5 milligrams of BPC-157, and 8 to 9 drops is 250 micrograms. I took 8 to 9 drops in the morning on an empty stomach, and on some nights, I also took 8 to 9 drops before bed. So what were my results? Did I notice any improvements in my elbow? After taking BPC-157 for two months, I did recover from my minor elbow tendonitis and I was able to lift heavy things again, which I wasn't able to do after I had the injury. I've had similar injuries before, about eight years ago. I had also a minor tendonitis in my left elbow and uh, this time I was able to recover somewhat faster than the last time. The injury last time was much more serious than it was this time. I can't say that it was because of the BBC 157, but I was able to get back to doing pull-ups much faster, whereas last time I wasn't able to do pull-ups for many months. I'm going to share with you whether or not I was able to do the 30 pull-ups at the end of this video, but I'll quickly share the main research done on BPC-157 and what are the different applications. Let's start with tendon healing. The biggest reason I started taking BPC is because of the effects on tendon healing. Tendons and ligaments are hard to heal and they take much longer to recover than muscles because tendons lack proper circulation. There's not a lot of blood vessels supplying the tendons with blood flow, which is why they don't get that many growth factors and nutrients. BPC-157 has angiogenic effects, which means it promotes blood flow to the tendons, and it's also thought to control the function of collagen fragments. Research on rodents has shown that BPC-157 improves recovery and healing after tendon injuries. What's more, the recovered tendons appear to have higher functionality and they're able to tolerate greater load until tendon failure. A 2006 study also found that BPC-157 is able to promote tendon to bone healing after the Achilles tendon was detached from the bone of rats, whereas control animals didn't close the gap. BPC-157 had those effects despite the presence of corticosteroids. BPC can also promote skeletal muscle healing. 
in a 2006 study on rats, BPC-157 was able to restore the functionality of a transected quadriceps muscle. Natural healing processes were unable to compensate for the injury, whereas BPC-157 after 72 days was. The BPC-157 treated muscles also had higher failure load compared to control animals, which means they were stronger and more resistant to heavy loads. If this study is correct, then it would mean that taking BPC not only heals the injury but also makes the skeletal muscles stronger. That's essentially how muscle hypertrophy works. Your muscles encounter mechanical tension that forces them to grow and become stronger. Now, it's of course not completely clear if BPC will have those effects, but theoretically BPC not only can heal the injury, but also supercompensates. Besides injuries, BPC-157 has been found to promote skin wound healing in rats. It also counteracts bleeding, platelet stabilization, and resolves clots. I don't have any skin issues or acne, so I can't tell whether or not it's actually the case but many people do say that it does help with their skin condition as well. BPC-157 appears to have anti-inflammatory effects that improves liver lesions, brain lesions, gut-brain function, and central nervous system disorders. In a 2019 study, scientists scored spinal cord injury to rats and gave some of them BPC-157 at a dose of 200 or 2 micrograms per kilogram, and the others got saline water. As you can see from this graph, the control animals who got saline water, as shown by the white rhombus, didn't recover and they had spinal cord injury. However, both the BPC groups, as shown by the black square and the triangle, recovered. BPC-157 also promotes gastrointestinal healing, and this may recover gut-brain axis and gut-brain axis function, which is good for the gut and the brain. Now, remember that I said there were no clinical trials on BPC-157? Well, there are two clinical trials from 2002 and 2003 on ulcerative colitis patients cited in the BPC-157 literature, but I'm not sure if those trials were ever finished because I haven't found any further details about these studies online. So practically speaking, I haven't found any human data on BPC-157, which is a shame because I would want to know whether or not it has those effects in humans as well, as shown by clinical trials. So these two clinical trials were done on ulcerative colitis, which falls in the camp of gut health and gut healing. Personally, I didn't see any improvements in my gut health because I have pretty much perfect gut health already, so I have no issues with food or any autoimmune or inflammatory syndrome. So again, I can't say whether or not it has effects on gut health based on my personal experience. I can only say based on personal experience that BPC has effects on tendon healing because that's what I saw. In conclusion, as you can see, there's a lot of animal studies showing that BPC-157 has benefits on tendon healing, muscle healing, healing, skin health, wound healing, gut health, and brain function. Unfortunately, there are no clinical trials on PPC as of now, so we can't say with definite proof that PPC has those healing effects in humans. But like I said, a lot of people online shared that they have recovered from some of their injuries with PPC-157. And I did feel that taking PPC-157 for two months did accelerate my tendonitis recovery because I was able to get back to lifting heavy with no discomfort much faster than before. The final question is, was I able to get back to doing 30% pull-ups? The answer is yes. I can now do 30 pull-ups again like before. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.